fellow Pisces, this is your 2017 year in advance video. I have shuffled the deck and cut it various times until it told me it was ready. I've um, arched it out and I will pull your cards. I'm also going to pull one card from this deck that will be like your focus of the year, the theme of the year, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Here we have January. Here we have February. Um... March, April, here we have May, this one I pulled out was June, here we have July, August, September, October, November, and this one is December. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these all out of the way. Um, I'm going to do your guys' video a little bit differently and set up wise than I have done for anyone else's. If you like the video, if you're able to stick with me until the end and you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, like, comment, share, all of that kind of wonderful stuff. This deck, how I said, I'm going to choose just one card for Pisces for 2017. I'm letting my hand go over the card so that way it will tell me which card is for you. And this card is for you. So I'm going to go ahead and gather this deck up and get it out of the way. Um, you can find me on Facebook. I'm at facebook.com forward slash blue rain orchid. And let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Here we have, hold on. Here we have January, all right, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, it's down here at the bottom, October, November, and December, all right. I'm just going to kind of straighten up the cards a little bit because this cloth is really wiggly. Okay, so here we have your focus, your theme of the year, okay? Pisces for 2017. You have Amara the... Oh, I'm not sure on how to pronounce that. The Methun? 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 It's Aloha Healing. Okay, so I want you to look at this picture for a minute. And there's a waterfall down back here. Water is emotion. So there's going to be emotional healing for you this year. There are flowers growing. You're going to have creation. You've got a rainbow. Rainbow is color, is beautiful. It's luck because of the um, pond on the other side, the pot of gold on the other side. So you're going to have a lot of healing, a lot of growing, a lot of lucky moments. And um, because of the healing... You're going to have a lot of dark moments. Do you see how this picture is kind of dark? It's going to be kind of hard for you to heal this stuff. You're not really going to want to. It's not like, oh, well, I cut my hand, so I'm really waiting for the scar to heal up. It's going to be deep healing, deep emotional healing, all right? And you're probably not going to like it. All right, so let's start with Janu January. For January, you have Nourish Your Soul. Look at this panther. He is obviously a very spiritual panther, right? He's got creation in his eyes that are glowing. He's drinking from creation. What do you need, Pisces, in order to, to nourish your soul? Is it time for you to look for a new spiritual path? Is it time for you to quit saying yes to everything and sit back and just do what you need to do? What do you need to do to nourish your soul? This is what you're going to be focusing on in January. I'm finding it really interesting, Pisces, that you've got water here, and you've got water here, and you are a water sign. Okay, so February. For February, you have Make the Sacrifice. Now, I want to say, if 
we sacrifice something, it has to hurt. Otherwise, it's not a sacrifice. It has to be something you don't want to do. It has to be something you don't want to give up. Otherwise, it's not a sacrifice. Now, with that said, you don't have to, like, kill your child or um, cut open your hand and give a pint of blood. That kind of stuff isn't really always a sacrifice. I know that's what media portrays as sacrifices, but it's not. A sacrifice might be you want to you want to go out and be partying on the holidays or for somebody's birthday, but you know you need to stay home and you need to contemplate. You need to um, make out a list of what the things you are what things you need to be doing. And look at this card is a very dark card again, okay? The imagery isn't like, oh, that's really creepy dark. It's it's nighttime. It's a dark dragon. It's a dark moon. It's a dark card. You're going to find the things that you have to sacrifice deep, deep, deep within you, okay? And you're probably going to have to get rid of these things in order to heal, all right? It's going to help you nourish your soul. March. March, you have stay strong. So in, in January and in February, you've done stuff you didn't really want to do. You were trying to charge yourself up. You were trying to nourish yourself. February, you were giving out sac you were giving sacrifices. You were giving stuff up that you didn't want to give up. You were letting stuff go that you didn't want to let go. You're feeling worn down. You're feeling tired. You're feeling probably angry because you didn't really want to do this. You understand you have to for your healing, but you didn't really want to. You need to stay strong right now and March, Pisces, okay? The bad stuff is over here. Good stuff will be coming, okay? So April. April is embrace the masculine. What do you think of when I say masculine? I'm pretty sure you think of a very masculine man. What makes him masculine? He's probably got a lot of muscles. He looks really strong, right? Strong. You're going to need to show your strength. You are staying strong. Now you're going to have to embrace it and show it to others. You're going to have to in order to heal. All right. May. May is time to reflect. So in January, you were nourishing yourself. You were charging yourself. You were doing things that you wanted to do in order to help you. You were looking into things that maybe you don't want to do that would help you be who you want to be. In February, you were letting stuff go. You were giving that stuff out to left and right. You were getting rid of it. That drained you. It made you angry. It may, probably was kind of hurtful. You're feeling depressed in March, but you need to stay strong. In April, you're going to start showing people that strength. You're going to embrace it your own. It's you, and you're going to start showing it to people. May, you're going to reflect on all of what just happened. You're going to see, oh, okay, well, I um, I began to look into angels instead of believing that angels were what my mother told me they were. So I've sacrificed her beliefs in order to nourish my own soul, and she's mad at me for it. So now I have to stay strong and hold my ground, and I have to show her I've held my ground. Here's your reflection, right? It might be something totally different, but you're reflecting on it, and you're reflecting on what you want to come for the rest of the year. For June, you have Seek Your Answers Within. Okay, so remember I told you your healing is going to be really deep. Remember I told you you have to nourish your soul. You're going to have to give stuff out. You're going to have to get rid of it. What stuff, what other stuff do you need to do? When you are reflecting upon all of this stuff, you also need to reflect within your own soul. Look at where his um, intuition is coming from, where this prayer's intuition is coming from. It's coming from his heart area, from his heart chakra. A lot of people say that's where the soul is located, right? Behind, above, right near the heart. His soul, your soul, is where you're going to find the answers of what you need to do in order to heal. Okay, so July. Let's see what July has to say. July says, protect the wild and green. You're going to be protecting what you're creating, Okay, and I want you to look at this for just a second. Where you were told to embrace, to accept masculinity, your strength, he's really green, right? Look at her where she's being told to protect the wild and the green. You're being told to protect. She's really green too. 
when I think of nature, I don't think of nature as like the park or um, a forest or something like that. I think of nature as creation. Why? Because who makes, because Mother Earth is like the ultimate creator. So what you are creating, you're going to have to protect it. That's why you're being told to stay strong. Look at what's right underneath stay strong. Protection. All right. So let's just go for example. It's your mom's beliefs that you've sacrificed. She's upset with you. You're depressed because she's upset with you. You're going to have to show her that this is what you believe now and she has to respect it just like you respect what she believes. You're thinking of what else needs to be changed. You're looking at yourself. Your mom's still mad at you because you've changed what you believe in. You have to protect that belief. You can't give it up just because mom is mad. You can't give it up just because your spouse is mad. You have to protect it. Um, August. Know your power. Okay, look at this one more time. Stay strong. Embrace the masculine. Strength. Protect. Know your power. Who has told you you are not strong, Pisces? Who has told you that they have more right to tell you what to do and what to believe than you have to give this power to yourself? Who's told you they have more right to tell you what you can and cannot do and believe and think and say than you yourself? That person is most likely your sacrifice in order for you to heal. Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, let's look at September. September says, honor Gaia. Gaia is a pagan name for Mother Earth. And can you see all of Mother Earth here? What did I just say about nature and Mother Earth? She's a creator, right? Can you see how she's creating? When you honor her, you honor your own ability to create. When you honor her, you do not give away your power to create. So in order, Pisces, for you to honor Gaia, and I don't think she really wants you to go out and like give a sacrifice to the tree or something in the backyard. She wants you to see you have the power to create what you need. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to be strong. You have the power to protect. You have the power to create what you want, just like she does. She's reminding you that this is within you. Here we have October. October says change is unavoidable. And look at we've got nature again. Okay, so what are you changing? What are you trying not to change? You're going to have to change it no matter what. Uh, um, November, we have Seek Your Destiny. This little lynx guy, I'm going to call him a lynx. He might be a cat. He is within this tree looking for the universe, looking for um, the galaxies. There's the third eye. There's intuition. There's understanding here. He is seeking his destiny. All right. Oftentimes, when we give away our power to somebody, when we let other people tell us what to do, we lose sight of ourselves, and this may be what you need to heal. You have to sacrifice the idea that you are weak. You have to sacrifice the idea that other people can tell you what to do in order to be able to nourish your soul, in order to heal yourself, in order to have your destiny, to be able to create. Okay? December, let the emotions flow. Now, if you've been going through the year, you've been nourishing yourself, you've been sacrificing, you're staying strong, you're accepting your masculinity, you're accepting your power, you're protecting yourself, you're reflecting on the other stuff that needs to go, you're looking for your destiny and your answers within yourself, you've honored the fact that you're going to have to change, just like the cycles of Mother Earth and of nature, you've honored the fact that you are changing and you've accepted it, December is going to be an emotional month. You're going to be crying. You're going to be upset. You're going to be um, emotional. That is perfectly fine. You're allowed to do that. And that is part of healing. All right, Pisces? So your year, you're going to be making some major changes. 
and you might not be happy with them. You might not be comfortable with them. You might feel like you can't do them. You might feel like you're not strong enough. But honey, you're strong enough. It's telling you right here, stay strong. Accept your, your strength. Accept your power. Protect yourself. You are strong enough to do this. All right? So, if you liked this reading, this is for Pisces in general. If you want your own personalized reading, you can contact me. You can email me at maria at bluerainorchid.com. You can find me on Facebook, Facebook forward slash bluerainorchid.com, or minus the dot com there. Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm, of course, here on YouTube. You can message me. We can do your own personalized reading. This reading, particular reading is $70, but I offer all kinds of other readings. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that wonderful stuff. Thank you for the honor, Pisces, of allowing me to read for you. I am so, so, so thankful for that. You guys totally rock. You're going to have a wonderful year. Thank you. Lots of loves. Bye.